grounded to Earth means that we are connected to the surface of the Earth and its abundant supply of electrons. This is natural. Uh, the electrons spread over and into our bodies. They stabilize our internal electrical environment. Everything works better. These electrons flow continuously from the sun to the ionosphere, via the solar wind to the ionosphere. Um, they come to the Earth in the form of lightning or thunderbolts, and they continuously supply the surface of the Earth. When we are barefoot, these electrons come into our body and do very good things. Electrostatics teaches us that when two conductors with different electrical potentials touch each other, there's an instantaneous transfer of charge so that the objects become equally charged. And the body is a conductor of electricity, and so is the Earth, except in very dry places. The electrons from the Earth are nature's antioxidant. They are the best treatment for inflammation. People relax. This has been um, discovered to be due to changes in the autonomic nervous system that happen virtually instantaneously when you touch your feet to the Earth. Accelerated healing of injuries. The living matrix is made of a remarkable material. It's, I think, the most remarkable material in the universe. It has amazing properties. It's a hydrated liquid crystal. It's a semiconductor. I mentioned these words. I've heard them mentioned in this conference. Um, the material is piezoelectric. It's pyroelectric. It's thermoelectric. You are liquid crystals, every one of you. When we think of crystals, we think of hard things like diamond and quartz. This is a diamond quartz crystal, hard. Mineral crystals are highly ordered, dense, hard, inelastic. The atoms are highly structured. Organic crystals are also highly ordered, they're soft and elastic. They're springy. So we don't think that this material that we feel could be crystalline, but it is. So this, this is collagen. It's a hydrated semiconductor. Uh, the electrons go through the protein. The protons and hydroxyls migrate through the hydration shell that Dr. Pollock talked about yesterday. These charge transfers are vital to life, and these electrons can go anywhere in the body and neutralize free radicals that create chronic disease and other chaos. And I, it's, since it's a semiconductor, and the semiconductor nature of collagen was worked out by Albert St. Georgie, various tissues in the body are liquid crystals. This is a cross-section of muscle. I think that's beautiful. I mean, there's no doubt that muscle is a crystal. This is the way collagen is organized in tendons and ligaments and other parts of the connective tissue. This is cell membranes. And all of these molecules are associated with water. So when you look at this, the way the collagen molecules are organized in the tendon, associated with those molecules are water molecules which also form a liquid crystalline system. This is the old model of the uh, cell that you'll find in textbooks. It's a bag of soup with things floating around in it. This is the connective tissue out here. And no relationship. This model is wrong. Uh, forget it. Uh, the, the more accurate model is the matrix within a matrix within a matrix, totally interconnected. So this is the modern model that includes the cytoskeleton and the nuclear matrix. How can we do science? How can we do medicine when the first things we learn in school are inaccurate models of the atom? This, this model, the uh, Bohr mo model of the atom, um, was recognized as inadequate before the ink dried on the paper in 1914. And yet it is the symbol of the atomic age and it's still in all the textbooks. This picture of the cell is wrong. Uh, the, the soup with the organelles floating around in it, 
again, is wrong. When people go to medical school, they learn this model in their first course, and it's incorrect. This is the living matrix, and the concept comes from the recognition that our bodies are a continuum. All of the parts of the body, just like all of the parts of the universe, are connected. And so this is a cell, and it's the recognition that the cell is, contains a matrix, which is called the cytoskeleton, which contains another matrix, which is called the nuclear matrix. And it's surrounded by another matrix called the connective tissue matrix. It's the largest, largest organ in the body. It's the only organ that touches all of the other organs. And I view this, first of all, as an electronic circuit. I've made little red dots, which represent electrons. Nobody has ever seen an electron, so it's just science fiction that they're little red dots, but it's to give you the idea of the dynamic motion movements uh, of electrons within the circuit 